the interests of all the people of this town, and more generally, interests of economic and social development. What you see today, a protest march being led by the Vice Chancellor of the University, by the Deputy Vice Chancellors, by senior officials, deans, heads of departments, academics, students, workers. It's an expression that we have been patient for very long. Yes. 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 We have sought to work with you, conscientiously alongside you. We have put at your disposal over many years the expertise, the knowledge, in the interests of this town. But you must be left in no doubt that after nine days without water, we are angry. Very much. Very much angry. And I would like you to imagine the indignity that our students and our staff are experiencing because of the lack of water. Mr. Mayor, I don't say this lightly, but in this open letter I do say, and I do want to bring this home to you, and to the Municipal Manager and to the Councillors, that in March this year, we were close to shutting down the university. I don't think many students here and many academics are aware of this. We came so close to having shut, to shut down the university. And Mr. Mayor, I'm a person who's a very sober person. But I do say in this open letter, we are close to shutting down the university. Because we cannot cope. Our yes. students cannot cope. Yes. Yes. The workers who have to look after our residents cannot cope. The university as a whole cannot cope. Our students have showed incredible fortitude. And I really salute them for that. Last night when I and Dr. Mavazela and our other senior staff went into the halls, we were quite expecting to be lynched. Instead, we were met with great fortitude and a very constructive spirit. And I really want to salute them for that. I want to salute the workers in our residences for the incredible work they have been doing to try and keep our residences open. Mr. Mayor, Municipal Manager, this is not a threat. We are reaching the point where we may have to close the university unless the water starts to flow. Health issues are starting to arise. Urinary tract infections are starting to occur. Diarrhea is starting to break out. Laboratory practicals are having to be suspended because of safety issues. The academic project of this university is now being under threat and compromise. And when we march here and we say all these things and say we are angry, you must forgive us, we are doing this for a very good reason. Because we have been incredibly patient. And perhaps what has really been disconcerting to us is the absolute lack of communication. We cannot find anyone to communicate with us. But you, but you are the elected representatives of us. We are your constituency. You should be not at our back or call, but you should be there to feel our questions about what is happening in this town as far as water is concerned. I am angry that those calls are not being filled. Because when you don't feel my calls, I don't know what to say to my staff and to my students, whether there's any hope of the water being turned on, at what time, what plans are happening, and so on and so on. So, final point I want to make. The closure of this university, weeks before we are due to shut down, will be called chaos. Six and a half thousand students will have to make their way home. They will be looking to the university for support if that has to happen. You must also appreciate the economic impact that will have on this town when students are no longer around to 
make their purchases in the shops here. So we are in a very dire situation if this university closes. We as a university, you as a mayor, you as a municipal manager, the businesses in this town, and the people of this town. And so I hand over this open letter to you. An open letter that will also be sent to the MEC for local government in the Eastern Cape. An open letter that will also be sent to the Director General of Higher Education and Training, the Minister of Higher Education and Training, Minister of Water Affairs, the Minister of Local Government and the Minister of Public Work. It will also be distributed to all the media, print and electronic, as a way of bringing home to you and to the councillors of this town. We have reached a major crisis and we do need something to be done now. Otherwise, I'm afraid the university may have to close in the next day or two. University, the students, families, everybody present here. Thanks very much, uh, Fisky, for expressing the frustration of our students. Thanks very much to everybody else who has shown a commitment to the staff. I must say, if you see that uh, we've been working around the clock as the institution. It is regrettable, I must say. I must accept that uh, to be without water for more than nine days, it's not something that we can take, take light as the institution. I have raised this in my discussions yesterday with the municipal manager. I've been constantly engaging the director for technical services. This morning, the first thing the MM has done was to engage the foot soldiers, everybody that is in charge, with the responsibility of ensuring that we fix the problem. The unfortunate part, I must say, is that the palms has to come from Joburg. Everybody that has to come down to fix the problem must be flow from Joburg to Bramstown. But they've been with us since last week, Friday. Throughout the weekend, we've been working with them. Early this morning at 4 o'clock, we have to do the changeover just to share the water that is flowing for both the township and the town. Because it is not only the town that is experiencing the problem. But I must say, Vice Chancellor, we are doing everything possible, everything that we can to save the situation. I just said this morning to the MM, your open letter will have to be escalated indeed to the province, to national, all departments that can assist us. We have already engaged the district, everybody else, the outsiders who can assist us in the situation, we have already engaged them. There is a team that is coming down tomorrow or early Friday as well from the district council to assist us. We've, we've also engaged your, your, your offices, your technicians from Rhodes University. As you would understand that we've got a memorandum of understanding from, from the supply chain processes. I've given MM an instruction 
that this afternoon he must appoint Amatola Water to be part of the solution. So Amatola Water is going to be appointed this afternoon. Also, the maintenance part of our water and electricity will have to get service provider maybe for a quarter or six months so that we can get everything back on time. Thanks very much. I'd like to say is ultimately we are marching today not only for ourselves. Yes. This is not only about the students, yes. the academics of Rhodes. Yes. What we are demanding, we are demanding for everyone in this yes. town. Yes. Yes. Yes.